Three teens had a close call on Lake Juliet Saturday. As their boat began to sink, they had to call for help. The Department of Natural Resources answered. We knew it was a cold morning, the wind was blowing. The weather on Lake Juliet can get fierce. Uh, it was probably blowing in excess of 30 miles an hour. Didn't make it any better for three teens out on a duck hunting trip early Saturday morning. Upper 20s, and, and it was very cold. The boaters had taken on water and were beginning to sink. And so it was submerged underwater, uh, yet it was f barely floating, I guess you could say. They called for help, and First Class Ranger Jeremy Reese with the Department of Natural Resources yeah. Law Enforcement was on the rescue team. The wind was kind of blowing them toward the dam, uh, and they were just holding on pretty much for life. Reese helped pull them to safety. We, right when we got them out of the water, it, it wasn't much time and the vehicles were coming up the dam so we got them up to the vehicles as, as fast as we could and the heaters were wide open and then as soon as uh, as soon as they all got in the vehicles and they got transported to the ambulance. It was a close call for the teens. It was very cold and anybody that had been exposed to water for the period of time that these uh, gentlemen were, it's, it poses a real danger. One teen suffered hypothermia but all three should be just fine. Reese says accidents do happen, and it's important to not be distracted when you're thinking about boat safety. When you go hunting, you don't think about a lot of the safety equipment that's required uh, in boating like you would in the summertime. It's just as important no matter the weather out on the lake, winter or summer. And most important, uh, you need to have your life jackets, and, and especially a, a hunting scenario, it's a good idea to be wearing them at all times. He says to also make sure your boat's navigational lights are on as well as your fire extinguisher. Make sure that is working as well.